Hello everybody, my name is Panchito and welcome back to Soma Part 4. Now, I should have been showing you the beginning of these little intros. Um, sorry I did, did it, that I been, haven't that I haven't been showing you these. But if you notice over here to the right, you see the face? Yeah, the face has been changing since the beginning. The face was originally together. And I don't think you could see the face correctly, but it was kind of more separated into different pieces. Now it's actually split in half apart from it. I don't think that red light was there either. So in the next part, we'll check it out and see how much it's split. All right, let's continue and let's get on with the game. The Dunbat has been corrupted by the WoW. Wow, there is no way to save it. Simon and Catherine will have to find another way to get into the abyss and find the Ark. So, do you guys remember in the last episode that we were doing a couple of things to um, get the Dunbat? And the Dunbat was this little thing with robotic arms. It's a little tiny pod. Kind of like a um, little submersible in Subnautica. You know how it kind of moves along? You know the one that Markiplier calls Bumblebutt and Bubble Butt? Um, kind of something similar to that. Um, so we were doing a bunch of things, getting some um, little devices to... Uh, one of the devices were... A, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's a little card you stick into the computer. And they those cards basically has the copy of a human about before they put them into the arc so it's like just it's like a big gigantic SD card like about that big you slide into the computer the computer loads it and it shows them exactly <coughs> in that moment they finished um, loading themselves um, from their own mind into the device to prepare them to set them into the or transfer them into the arc uh, there was this guy he was a security guy and uh, he was being difficult like uh, he, in that moment that his mind was copied in, in, in a part, like, it says, uh, like, for example, it says, all right, all right, let's ready, let's do this test. And all of a sudden, psh, a bright flashlight, a bright light. And then and in that moment, when you see that bright light, it was just copied right at that point, it was stopped. The rest of it, his whole mind was copied. And in that moment, the thing is, okay, we're done. That's what the person would say, and the guy was like, hey, that wasn't too bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't see nothing. What's going on? So in that moment is when that person it was captured after what they said. I mean, now I'm probably sure the meatbag version of that body, of that person, would probably say the same thing, but it was captured at that moment. It was copied into the little device, which was the card. So he, so we would load him into the computer, and we would load him with nothing. There's no environment, no nothing. You can see his body. He's in a chair, but he can't see himself because it's just the mind, just the body, just the, uh, just the mind, just the soul of the person. So we would ending up loading virtual environments. Like one would be the beach, one would be a cabin house by the in the snow and stuff like that. And he doesn't like it. And if his 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 stress level gets too high. The, uh, the computer will shut itself off so it doesn't make him go crazy. So what we had to do is we had to learn about him more and then we would have to we have to find about find exactly what makes him calm, what makes him feel good and so on. So what we would do is we would load him into the area where he sat down and um, scanned his brain into the device card the big SD so he could um, feel more comfortable so what we ended up doing was you know how the we come to a box that are on the wall and it has like a hand with a little little lightning shooting out of it little shock bolts well there was one inside the dude's room and he was talking to somebody that he's very familiar with that he's comfortable with and um, Veronica or is it Victoria I think it's Veronica yeah, I think it was Veronica. So basically, what happened was Veronica 
copied her voice and copied her image into the simulation so that the guy could feel comfortable and so on and you know and we needed a code in order to drop the Dunbat or in order to use the Dunbat because if we didn't have the code we can't use the Dunbat so we uh, so once we got the code from the guy we shut the simulation off and we haven't talked to him since and we went into the other room where the Dunbat was and of course there was a monster but I didn't come across him yet we will be coming across him in this in this episode um, eventually uh, we were doing this we were doing a series of tests and we got to one test where and made the, the, the whatever person that was copied into the Dunbat was shocking them or whatever it was like on top and then it fell and boom that's it it was over that's all that happened and uh, we uh, we eventually escaped that room and were inside another area and in, in that area I think that the monster we will be encountering in this episode alright so let's continue exactly where we left off here's a bomb uh, let's just try to bypass him oh no he's hurt I have to, never mind. <sighs> you guys notice on his arm? He has a little alien stuff on his arm now. That's locked. Huh? Wait, this isn't. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? to whatever is out there. official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Heart Project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that uh, we should spend as much time and resources needed to complete it. I disagree and I agree. The reason I say this is because if you're going to copy your mind into the Ark but your meatbag body stays behind, just think about it, you're no longer human. You're a copy of once what you used to be. Just your mind. That's all you are. So what if what if where there is there are billions of people on the heart floating in space? Because that's what they originally wanted to do. They wanted to make them float into space and just let it continue and continue and continue. So now we are in space, we're in paradise. What happens if 
we're so close to a black hole or a gigantic sun, like super ultra huge, where everything gets sucked up into it because of its gravitational pull. Then mankind is destroyed and no longer exists. So it's kind of stupid, unless it literally it's staying there in one spot, and so it's tiny, then it's not going to go anywhere, or it's set on like a moon or by itself, or a planet that's by itself, nothing on it. It's just desert, nothing, no water, no nothing, and it's not even hot, it's not even too cold, it's just right for the art to live there, then that's perfectly fine. Maybe technology will come by and, or another species come by and say, hey, what is this? They try figuring it out one day and they eventually find out that there were humans and they copy the humans. They're, they transfer or copy the humans from the Ark into a new body, say a robotic body or something. Honestly, I'd rather live in a robotic body than I would be in an Ark because at least in a robotic body, I know that I'm not in a virtual world. I'm an actual machine. It may not be... Um, I think the word is biological. No, um... It's not synthetic, uh, it's uh, um, I forget the word what I'm trying to say is uh, organic. It's not an organic body, it's, uh, it's a metallic body. Just like uh, our character here we're controlling, that's basically the same thing. I'd rather be in there than be in a virtual planet, a virtual world that you no longer exist. I mean, you exist in that box, which you can't exist outside of it. So you're constantly in one spot and you can never do anything else. You're always going to be there. It's like, you guess, paradise or something. You go to paradise and everything's peaceful, everything's perfect. I'd rather live in a world with complications because with something that is always perfect, it's going to be boring. I mean, I would love to have perfect weather always delicious fruit, vegetables, and food. And if there's no such thing as food and vegetables and stuff like that, then whatever. As long as the air and everything else is clean, you know, safe, I wouldn't mind it, but how do you progress? How do you go on? Same thing. That would make me go crazy. I wouldn't want that. I'd rather be a robot, not have any hunger, don't need to eat. All I gotta do is learn about myself and keep myself in uh, maintain and if a body eventually starts being destroyed or nuts and bolts or motors are starting to break down I'll move into a new body I'll say if I can try to teach myself programming and in that programming I'll transfer myself into a stronger better body that's how I see it so I would say disagree the embark every passenger needs to be flush with the electromagnetism using a pilot seat these scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches sometimes lasting up to three days. I think it's temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, it is a small price to save mankind. Again, I I still wouldn't want to do it. I mean, it's depending on certain people, but for me, I'd rather continue living on in a robotic body. I wouldn't care. Because with a robotic body, a very strong, powerful robotic body, you can even survive a planet being destroyed. I mean, shoot, you can launch yourself into space and you don't need to breathe in space. As long as your um, metallic body is well built, you don't have to worry about nothing. You can fly into space if you have unlimited energy, you can land on other planets, um, whatever. You have so much strength on you, you can run really fast, jump really high. And you can be extremely intelligent and you can basically learn anything almost in an instant. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark, uh, whatever that is, Pro, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega Space Gun. I think that's a uh, 5, 6, 7, or is that, no, 10 is the X, so yeah, it's 5, 6, 7. Uh, space with Omega Space Gun and technically survive for thousands of years living off of the light from our sun at distant stars. So, so it does have solar panels on it. Something to absorb uh, light. I think the Ark should never er leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Uh, disagree. The 
digitalization of humans and the opportunity to make the quantum leap in our own evolution, the people inside the arc will, out of necess necessity, be generated from existing generic code, but could be altered to allow the cosmetic changes, ease aging, and prevent death, uh, and even prevent death. I think we're all at risk in losing humanity, and if we were to rid of ourselves of disease and mortality. Mortality. Morality. Um, I agree on that. You can't go crazy with something that's too perfect. There are only 58 people alive, left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diverse Sify and expand population would be to introduce artificial intelligence that would in every way appear to be human, but ch but with childlike and naive sensibility as we continue to explore the nature of intelligence we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. So basically we're whatever like myself as an adult I would be a childlike kind of thing so meaning that they don't have natural uh, growth, meaning that their programming is set on childlike. So their programming is faulty, it has a lot of bugs, meaning that if it's stuck on only child mode, that means that you can't get, you can't become, you, you can't mature. Even if there's children, say like at age five, they're always going to be stuck at age five, and they're always going to be thinking that way. So they can't progress as age, like say age six, age seven, age eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can't become mature because they're stuck because the programming tells them they can't go beyond that. So they're stuck in that one little circle unless they find a way to open that circle and let them mature on their own, like every other kid does. Uh, a kid becomes an adult. A kid comes. A preteen, and from a preteen to a teen, and from the teen to an adult, and this uh, this is uh, natural, natural. I guess you could say it's evolving from a child or from a baby-like state to a child, from a toddler. I, I guess a child, um, infancy, baby, child. Or toddler, child, I guess the same thing. A preteen, teen, adult, and uh, that's it. I don't know. This is weird. Disagree. <laughs> of course. That's what you guys think. I would hate to be on something like that. As I said, I'd rather be transferred into a robotic body. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Compound uses it to investigate structural integrity and payload frameworks. Of course. Could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. Well, give it a try. photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. <laughs> now I know better. <laughs> I like uh, Catherine's uh, signature on the bottom. It looks like really clean. I just like really good sig uh, handwriting. It's really nice. Fit. Can you reach the on switch? Let's 
Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip what? is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least I we know how to get on the arm. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. That reminded me right now, uh, in, a, in a different body, and from a male body to a female body. You remember that episode of Family Guy where they find Stewie's lab laboratory? And, uh, I know I said laboratory, um, uh, Dexter Laboratory. Uh, even remember where they uh, the whole family finds it, and uh, Peter is in one spot, and Lois is right next to him. He's like, "What is this? I wonder what this is." And he does something, and it scans them both, and all of a sudden they switch minds. And then he, uh, um, Peter uh, screams while inside Lois's body, and Lois does the same thing inside Peter. They go, "Ah!" He's like, "What happened? Did we switch bodies?" He's like, "Oh, sweet." Boobs, and he goes. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> That's what popped up into my head as soon as I realized that he was inside his <coughs> Catherine's friend's body, the chick, the female. I thought that was funny. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I think. <coughs> I think that there's just funny to me. I love little comedy like that. <coughs> yeah, I'm weird, I know. Uh, let's see. Get out of here. Nope, can't go out of there. So I pop the two. So. Start an art simulation. I want to see how it works. The art doesn't even look that bulky. This is going to be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people. Bites of mem uh, I just realized my phone fell. Right. I'm gonna check something out real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I need to see if the camera's on me. All right, it's back on me. All right, so let's see. Memory corruption. Please reduce memory footprint.
same base. Okay, so uh, same base required type so. Oh, I see. I'm taking out. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, same base required. This one is so water lake. So one seventy two, one sixty five. This one is going to be the physics.
huge. So something over here is not loading. So... There's something over here, let's see. No matter what, I need that one. Type water. Let's try 165. And then... And yeah, what's the first one? This one's no matter what. And then we'll try the second one. Nothing to really to connect to, so let's go back. Ah, too bad, I can't unselect it. Water 172. Take 
that one, I guess. Serious? Didn't I already do that? Uh, whatever. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Come on, baby. was in this area, I'm not too sure. Someone was blowing chunks here. Peterson, Sarag, Wolchin, and Chen. Sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Right. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Monster ahead, though. Or, no, actually, in this area.
There's something not hooked up right. Ah, oh, these headphones make my ear itch. So I need to go there. So I'm guessing I'm right here. So if I'm searching it this way. There you go. Going over down to the left. This one I have but since this wall has been destroyed, we should ah these freaking I I bought some uh, Logitech headphones um, G four sixty or four eighty or something like that. It's a seven point one with DTS and uh, Dolby Digital. Don't buy those headphones. Those things suck so bad. These headphones here, much higher quality uh, sound, everything, bass. Actually, I love the bass on these. These things are crazy. It's really good. Um, heck, I think the ones that you get with the Samsung, the, uh, what are they called? I don't think I have them around here. I know I had them, but... H AGS or AQ, AQ, AQC or something like that. Those are a lot better than those headphones. Those are probably like $50 headphones and they work so much better. Uh, yeah, don't don't get the headphones. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you guys some advice. Don't get surround sound headphones. The reason why I got those is because I wanted to try it out, see how it went, see how it sound. It comes with a little virtual box that you connect to the USB and then you have two connection ports which is a 3.5 millimeter jack the headphone connections one is for a microphone and the other one for the headphones itself um, that is supposed to com convert um, from uh, digital or analog to digital so you can get the simulation the virtual surround sound 7.1 I got something similar to it but it kind of sucked because basically what they did is they made the like say someone was speaking behind you on the right side ear on like back side like right you know like the speaker that's right here that's right here this is the left channel so let's just say someone was talking you could hear it in the headphones but it's just a soft sound being spoken in in that direction similar to that direction where it would be and then you got a speaker that would be over here you're supposed to hear Supposed to be directly to the left of you? Doesn't sound like that. It sounded just like if it was just on that side. Just softer, softer, softer uh, audio. You can never get a real, true, legit surround sound unless you're using speakers around you that converts DTS or Dolby Digital. into that technology. Yeah. Seems like the metal uh, the metal or whatever that stuff is is uh, melting with or combining itself with the human body. I swear the security place was right here. Are you serious? 
furiously crawling around in the duck space. That's cool. Look at the reflection. It's on the block. That's bad. Brandon, what do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. Aw, oh, man. You have to say that. Strohmeyer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle, be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. I have a feeling that I might need that uh, Lansky one. Hey, it used to be a camera that I had. It was called a Logitech camera. can't remember what was the brand. I'm guessing... This is the 
safe haven. So I can literally lock that and there's no way for them to get in unless they break the windows. Sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. We're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Going to Warren's place. Don't see me. Don't see me. Let's go back in here and look at Warren's place. First, let's just uh, lock that. No, that's not it. Right? Yep, Warren. Okay. Okay. Conference room, examination room, laboratory, and master
see there in the back too. Mm. Very interesting. Very goopy, very goozy. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, yep. Goopy and easy. Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reportedly found in his diver suit, unconscious, in water. Akers has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. It's difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat or for exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the feral cord makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think, I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this. This is the monster that's out there. Because you've been scanned and this, this is what the body composes to?
Please tell me the power is not off to all these. That's not fair, he seems like he's lingering in this area.
guess we don't die from this. Where's that other portable uh, uh That's a creepy ass dude. There's one in the beginning. We'll start with your shit. It's gotta be. Isn't there like. Oh, there's one right there. Can I just go back in here? No, and the doors are closed. Oh, god damn it. I am so bummed. So close, I guess I glitched out on something. I don't know. I tried flipping it up, it wouldn't let me flip it up. Gotta be quiet no matter where you go. It's kind of dumb. Okay. Wow, that took a long time. Don't move. It's okay. 
What? It's over now. Relax. Ashley? What are you doing here? Hanging out, like couples do. We're not... You don't want me? Yes, of course, but... What happened? You fell in love?
tower. It's a different place. Oh, it's just a street shot. Sorry guys, I gotta turn on the uh, camera or the uh, the light. Give me a second, okay? Alright, we're back. I'm trying to maybe if you're looking at them, they detect you. Kind of like the other monster that did that. I'm gonna wait until it gets over there a bit. I'm gonna close the door. I know 
which one? The, the, the doors that are kind of halfway open. But there's a door right here, so I'm gonna try this one. She sealed the tunnel! She really didn't want anchors following us to Omicron. Ah oh, shit, she's fucking hurt. Her suit is leaking. We have to get her to Omicron! Shit, it's bad, real bad. Oh fuck no! Well that sucks. Alright guys, this is the end for part four of Soma. I hope you guys like the video content that I'm outputting for you guys. And I do appreciate you guys checking out these videos, remember? always click that like, subscribe, and the bell button to get a notification when I upload another video. If there's any games that you guys like me to play, let me know. Put them in the comments below, and I'll be able to check out that list. And if I don't have that game already, I'll buy it. If not, um, I'll just uh, download whatever I have on my Steam list and everything else that I have. Alright guys, this is Panchito, and I appreciate you guys being in this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! See you later!